Hey, everybody. I wanted to take a minute to just share something with you. It's kind of random. I was doing my workout a minute ago. Insanity. Oh, I can't even know. I don't even know what I did. <laughs> Crap. Something circuit. Anyway, my brain is fried when I get done working out. But you know, there's this moment in every insanity workout. And try not to cry. When you're not sure if you can keep going. When you're doing those in and out abs and he's hollering, in, out, in, out. And you're like, no, I can't. I can't go in and out anymore. You know that moment I'm talking about. And I just got so emotional. Um, I looked up and hanging on the ironing board was this little denim vest that Sophie wore when she was four. And I'll never forget, we had a, a church picture made and she was wearing that vest and it was in like December after she had just had her second brain surgery in November. And I thought she looked so great for what she'd been through. And I'll look back at that picture and she was a sick little girl, really sick. And she had a big scar across her head and her little cheeks were swollen and puffy from steroids. And she had on that vest and I got it out because now it'll fit Livy. And um, saw it hanging on the ironing board. And I just remembered a lot about everything she's been through. And I remember a a list that the doctor had for her chemo treatments and it was the longest chemo regimen she was on and we were so tired we were tired of going to children's we were tired of treatments we were tired of puke and I just had to advocate for my daughter she was wearing down and I asked the doctor how many more how many more do we have to do and she got out the list and she showed us and she checked it off and, and she said you know three more just three more and we saw that list and we knew where we'd come and we knew where we had to go. And it just, it reminds me of that moment in insanity when you just don't know if you have it in you to keep going. And somehow you take a deep breath, you go into child's pose for a second and you come back out and you do it again. You go in, you go out again and you feel yourself move past that moment of can I? To, yeah, I just did that. I just did that. And you finish the workout, you get to the cool down, and you're breathing, and you feel so strong. And you know that you can push past that moment. You know you got it in you. And there's things around my house that I see. I wanted to show you this. This is Sophie's radiation mask, and you can see her little profile here, her little nose and her chin, and has these brackets around the edge. That baby had to wear this laying flat on a table with these things bolted to the table. She could not move. And this held her perfectly in, in place while they radiated her brain. And I think about her, and I think about how she pushed through. So why do I work out? Why do I do insanity? Yeah, I like that right there. Yeah, I do, I won't lie. It feels good feels good to get on the scales and see things happen. feels good to sweat. feels good to have endorphins. And that's not really why. Because when you can push through that workout, when you can go past that moment, you're ready. You're ready for life. You're ready for the day. You're ready for tomorrow. Whatever it brings. It might bring cancer your way. It might bring cancer into your family. It might bring catastrophe and heartache and trials. And you can handle it because you're strong. And that's why I'm here. That's why I'm here for you. That's why I do the same workout that you're doing. My heart is right here with you. Because I know it gets real every day. Life is real. And when you practice and you train hard and you push yourself past that moment when you think you're going to break and then you don't, that's where it's at right there. I love you. Just wanted to share. Um, I hope you made it through your workout tonight. Push play tomorrow. Bye, guys.